This was the government's first budget after the big demonetization bombshell and expectations were riding high. People had felt the pain. They were waiting to see the game. Did the finance minister go far enough? Let's take small and medium enterprises to begin with, where the government has brought down the tax rates from 30% to 25%. This benefits about 96% of India's companies. The government's idea is that it wants to expand the tax net get smaller companies to be more tax compliant to pay their taxes honestly. Corporate India believes that this should be extended to other companies as well, bigger companies which create more jobs, they've been reluctant to invest. He said he would do that by 2019, he hasn't picked this budget. Maybe that's a missed opportunity. Uh, the other thing which is very interesting is that uh, the finance minister has said that if you earn more than 5 lakh rupees, you will get 12,500 rupees back. He said his idea was to lower the burden on the honest salary taxpayer. Is that going far enough? Not quite. If tax rates were brought down on personal income tax, it may have been better. Instead of rewarding the honest taxpayer, in fact, a surcharge has been added to those who earn between 50 lakh rupees and 1 crore rupees. If you're trying to get people to be honest and declare taxes, you should try and reward them by bringing down the tax rates instead of imposing surcharges on this. Let's focus on political funding, one of the other big focus areas for the finance minister. Here, earlier the exemption limit was at 20,000 rupees. That exemption limit has been brought down to 2,000 rupees. Now that's a start, but to my mind, that's not good enough because what will happen? First, they used to make fake bills lesser than 20,000 rupees. Now you've increased the accounting headache, but all netas, all parties will start making those many more farzi bills of less than 2,000 rupees. So how is this going to help reduce black money in elections? You should have in fact gone the whole hog and said that no cash payment can be accepted by political parties. He didn't do that, which he really should have. Uh, the other interesting thing though, is that the finance minister has said that from now on there can be no cash transaction more than 3 lakh rupees. Now that's a good idea. A lot of high value transactions happening in cash, that's something the economy should do away with. This is a step in the right direction. So what's the big picture? The big picture is this. There hasn't been any profligate expenditure announced by the finance minister. On the other side though, uh, some of the corporate tax changes or the income tax changes which are being expected by industrialists and the Aam Admi alike, that hasn't happened either. 